when it comes to information processing, uh, we cannot compete with machines. It's a brand new tool helping people understand their legal rights using artificial intelligence. This is a really game-changing moment for the average person. It's called Botler AI. Botler AI is a robot that can help you navigate the legal system. It's the brainchild of Montreal-based founders Amir Mouravej and Ratika Dutt. Botler is an effort to uh, understand the law. And by understanding the law, I mean uh, writing computer programs that can understand the law. It all began when Amir and, um, was dealing with an immigration we'll start, dispute um, and started to read cases online. I found an overwhelming number of cases there and I couldn't find time to go and read every single one of them. So I wrote a program to go and read the cases for me and find the ones that are most similar to my case. Then the Me Too movement started and the focus of the project shifted to help victims of sexual misconduct. I think we've all known that sexual harassment is a problem, but no one really understood the breadth of the problem or really how big of an issue it was. Botler AI uses artificial intelligence or intelligence demonstrated by a machine. Algorithms scan through hundreds of thousands of U.S. and Canadian criminal court documents related to sexual crimes. We started by um, training a system on 300,000 legal cases. And then you feed all these cases to an algorithm, and that algorithm will learn by itself how to um, classify a case. After a series of questions, Botler AI determines if there may be cause for legal action, and it generates an incident report which users can then hand over to a lawyer or to authorities. Any human will need to go and do a lot of research. They have to read a lot of cases. A machine does not need that time. So it's faster and um, for a lot of cases, it's way more accurate. Botler AI is available in the U.S. and Canada. It's free and users remain anonymous. Rather than going to a lawyer and spending that money, you can go and speak to a very neutral third party that will take the facts and uh, give you a decision based on how it analyzed your situation and say, based on what you've told me, I predict these violations take place. And this way you have some sort of confidence grounded in legal doctrine to give you enough information to decide what you want to do as the next step. The response to Botler AI has been overwhelming. Since its launch in December, it's had 11,000 users. It's hard to live your life every day coping with this. Including this woman who did not want to be identified because of the sensitivity of her situation. She says she was sexually assaulted five years ago by someone she knew. You can feel so violated. You can feel such an overwhelming sense of shame. For many years, you know, I just shoved it aside. I said, I'm not going to deal with this. I'm going to put it away. Recently, she found out about Botler AI. Some of the questions are hard, but it's always asked in a friendly and supportive way and in a neutral way. Once I had completed uh, the process and all the questions, the choice is still left up to you, is if you're gonna proceed or not, and you don't feel a pressure either way. The city of Montreal has taken a lead role in artificial intelligence research. Here on the campus of the University of Montreal, there's one of the busiest AI research facilities in the world. Our own brain is like a very complicated machine that neuroscientists are trying to understand. And so what AI is about is trying to build intelligent machines that hopefully will one day be as intelligent as us. That's what AI is about. Yashua Bengio is a world-renowned expert in artificial intelligence. He's a professor here at the Montreal Institute for Learning Algorithms, or MILA, at the University of Montreal, where he specializes in a form of AI called deep learning. MILA is, is recognized for its pioneering work in deep learning, which is a particular approach to machine learning. So one particular way to make machines learn that is inspired by the brain. He also serves as an advisor for Botler AI. Amir approached me and, and, and discussed this project and, and you know immediately I thought, oh, this is an area that we hadn't thought about before, but that could have a big positive impact for a lot of people. It's a big step for access to justice, which is very important. Karim Beniklev is a law professor at the University of Montreal and the head of the state-of-the-art cyber justice lab, which is designed to be the courtroom of the future. Access to justice is, uh, is very tough. It's very expensive. It's very long. It's complex. So if AI could be useful to facilitate access to justice, it would be a big win. He says Botler AI is a big idea in the world of law. At least give the citizen the possibility of knowing his or her rights. An important step, but it's just a first step. 
Butler AI users ultimately have to decide whether to pursue legal action, a decision that can be difficult. While you do grapple with that decision and what you want to do, having a tool like Bottler AI is something that I think is useful to anyone who has been in this position. As for the future of Bottler AI, the founders say they plan to work with the human resources departments of major companies to educate employees. We want to make this tool available to everyone so that all of us will have the same uh, power when it comes to legal uh, problems. Using technology to empower the public, a big idea bringing more justice to the world. Carrie Drew, Fox 5 News.